Hello, welcome. Let's take a moment and read this problem, try it out on your own, and then press, press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so I've thought long and hard about uh, how I would explain this one. And in this video, what I will do is I'll stick to the algebra. I'll show the algebraic approach, but I want to point out that there are many ways to solve it, and we don't need to use the algebraic approach. What I did here was I said, okay, well, Abby is the fastest painter. She paints twice as fast as Beth. So I'm going to say, well, A is going to represent the time Abby takes to paint a room, right? So that's, I'll say, Abby's time. Well, Beth's time is going to be twice Abby's. She's twice as slow, right? She's twice as long because Abby's twice as fast. So that's B's time. And finally, Kathy's time is she's the slowest, right? She takes three times as long because she's that much slower. And then I said, well, all right, well, if that's their time, right, I could say what fraction of the room would they each paint? Because I know if I, so I'm thinking, like the, the amount of the room that they each paint. So Abby's going to paint some amount. This is Abby's, I shouldn't use the same variable. This is the fraction that Abby paints and then the fraction that Beth paints and the fraction that Kathy paints. We know that they work together and they finish the room in 60 minutes. That's so if you put their rates together, right, the fraction of the room, they, they each at the end would have painted one room. Altogether, they each paint some fraction of the room. Now, the way I thought about their fraction of the room that they paint is to say, okay, well, if this is their time, then their rate is the total of the room, which is one, divided by their time. And that's also the fraction of the room that they will paint. So for example, let's say, let's just say for a second we knew what A was. It's just in a different color. So let's say Abby took two hours to paint the room, right? By herself. These are the times by themselves. Sorry, I should have said that. Well, if that's true, if it took her two hours, um, what would her rate be? Well, it would be one room divided by two hours, and that's a half of a room per hour. So her rate also shows you, because it's per hour, and they painted it one hour, the, the half of the room per hour that she would have painted, and it took her two hours to paint the total thing, um, that's also the fraction of the room she would paint within an hour. I don't know if that's making sense, but basically here, right, 1 over A, whatever time she actually is, is also, it's her rate, but it's also the rate per hour, so it's the fraction of the room per hour she would actually paint. And then the same for Beth and the same for Kathy. Put them together and they do complete one room. And then I just solve for A. To do that, the common denominator is 6A. So I multiply by 6, and then by 3, and then by 2. This equals 1. I multiply by A on both sides, so A equals 9 plus 2 is 11 over 6, which is, I'm going to write as a mixed number, 1 and 5, 6. So that's 1 hour, hour, and 50 minutes. So if she worked by herself, right, it would take her this long. So, and you can check this out. The times work for all of them. It's really cool. Uh, these are written, I'm going to do it here, it'll take me too long in the video, but basically these are their times to paint the room completely by themselves. So that's the key for me. But there's many ways to solve it. So if this didn't work, let me know. I can show another way. Thank you.